So my name is Ian Wright. I'm Deputy Director General at the International Livestock Research Institute, ILRI for short, based in Nairobi in Kenya. So gender is an extremely important dimension of livestock systems. Livestock are important for a number of reasons in developing countries. They provide uh, animal sourced foods, which are critical to provide uh, essential nutrients to the population, particularly women and young children. Livestock provide income to households, which provide them with uh, resources to, for example, send their children to school, buy commodities and so on. Uh, and women are central to keeping livestock. They often provide over 70% of the labor in livestock systems. They are critical in deciding how animal sourced foods are distributed amongst family members when it comes to uh, meal times. So. But women often have very little opportunity to control the livestock resources, although they provide a lot of labor for keeping the animals. So they're involved in feeding, cleaning, milking, and so on. When it comes to selling animals or selling livestock products, it's often the men that benefit from the income. So the challenge we face is, how do we ensure that all members of the household, including women, can benefit from the animals that people keep? When it comes to research for livestock development, there are two dimensions that are important. One is what we call strategic gender research. That is understanding the role that men, women, children play in livestock systems and keeping livestock and looking after them and selling the products and who benefits and who doesn't benefit. And the second component is what we call mainstreaming gender research into other aspects of research. So for example, if we're developing a new technology, a new breeding system, a new animal health care product, then how can we ensure that that new technology benefits everyone, men, women, and all involved in keeping livestock? So the first aspect, gender, uh, uh, gender strategic research, is about understanding the social norms, the gender dynamics at household level and, and other levels. And how does that impinge on the way that livestock are kept and the way in which different people benefit from livestock? And up until now, very little research has been done in that area. We're beginning to understand some of that dynamics, but we still have a long way to go. As we move into the second phase of what are known as the CGR research programs, or CRPs for short, and as we develop the second phase of the livestock CRP, strategic gender research is a very important component of our thinking. And we've developed some proposals that will take this forward in really quite innovative uh, ways. But we also have to think about how we, as I said, mainstream gender into the re rest of our research programs. So let me give you an example. If you ask men what are the most important diseases are of livestock, you might get a different answer to if you ask women. Particularly if, for example, the women are more closely involved in feeding the animals around the homestead, in milking cattle or milking goats, compared with men who may be involved in herding the animals when they're out at pasture. So the men and women see livestock from a different perspective. The women who are looking after the animals around the household may see different behaviours in the animals, they may see different diseases, different health problems compared with the men who are seeing the animals when they're out grazing at pasture. So that's just one example of how if you ask men and women what the important livestock diseases are, you might get a different answer. And that, of course, should be informing our research priorities. We need to understand what the important diseases are in order to develop a research program around the whole issue of animal health and how you develop new animal health care products. Such is one example of how gender differences become important in helping in uh, prioritizing our research strategies. And there are many, many others. One of the challenges we have is how do we get scientists who may be working on animal breeding, animal feeding, animal health, and so on, how do we get scientists to think about those gender aspects? Our experience has been that scientists are very open to thinking about them, thinking about those challenges, but they don't know how to go about dealing with them. 
So one of the things we've started doing, and we'll do more as we move into the second phase of the CRPs, is giving our staff and our scientists the tools to help them think through the gender aspects of livestock research for development. <laughs>